Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and honeygirlsworld.com. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Honey. And if you are not, then welcome back. And thanks so much for joining me here today, this evening, whenever you're watching this video. Um, I'm coming here to kind of do like a little chit chat and just kind of do a vlog. I've actually recorded this video probably four times already. And I just keep forget to edit it to edit it. And then once I start to edit it, I didn't realize that I actually deleted the footage because I've talked about this in another video. I'm always running out of memory on my phone. And so because of that, that's where we are. But my goal is to have this video go live. Um, and no excuses. Your girl's got to get life together, F her feelings and get it done but this is going to be kind of a chit chatty kind of a vlog video and I just wanted to stop by and first of all say hi again um, as I stated I I'm honey and this is my channel and for all of my OG subscribers those have been watching my videos for a while hey guys welcome back um, my thought process is to start getting into vlogging again and really just chit chatting and sharing bits and pieces of my life maybe not so much the personal stuff with the boys and my husband and things like that because if you've been a long time follower of mine then you know that i have had issues with that before in the past um thankfully my husband is no longer in that field so or that line of work so I don't have to worry too much about that but I live on an island that's extremely small and I guess I never really took into consideration that because it's extremely small everybody knows everybody or I am extremely and easily recognizable so because of that um outside of me posting about my loved ones on social media like pictures or whatever um i'm not gonna kind of include them too too much and my car confessionals kind of deal which is what i'm doing now which is what i used to do a lot is kind of really just going to consist of me but this will give me an opportunity to really just sit down chit chat not have any type of scripting which let's be realistic here none of my videos are scripting i truly should get with that but um i just i never have the time for it but just really a chit chat kind of share what's in my mind this will give me an opportunity also to have a little bit of an outlet um, I shared this in other videos before but my eldest is in college and those of you that have been following me for a really long time um, probably are pretty amazed at how fast time had gone by um, so you know I have that time where I'm not shuttling people to and from a multitude of sports um, so that makes things a little easier the twins are also growing up they're always in school so you know when I'm sitting in the car waiting on them this gives me an opportunity to kind of chit chat and I come early um, for many specific reasons but again if you've been a long-term follower of mine you know that people suck when they drive and so I come early so that I eliminate one the traffic two I don't have to deal with all of that and three I can make sure for the most part my kids are safe because people go flying through the school like it is a war zone or the Indy 500 and it's just ridiculous um just saying like seriously it's a school like 10 miles an hour at the most just to be driving through the parking lot makes absolutely no sense for you to be driving 40 and as I sit here and cars are passing me through the parking lot they're flying it like 40 plus sometimes um, I've yelled at a lot of people so if my train of thought kind of shifts throughout these types of videos while I'm sitting at the school waiting for the twins that's why because crazy be crazy so as I stated my oldest is in college it 
was a pretty easy transition at first um, but I'm not gonna lie I'm truly really starting to miss him um, you know holiday season and stuff like that I do a lot of cooking and food is like my love language so it kind of sucks like he's he's not that far away but he's far away I mean he's going he's in in the mainland so you know the continental US attending school and so it's not like I can just drive it 20 minutes to him you know so it's a bit of a challenge but um, we make do we do the best as we possibly can um, I have a lot of stuff going on as well just in general I've been trying to keep busy you guys I've been really it, it's been a year if not more since I've done a true crime video and I'm contemplating on doing like shorts about them and stuff like that because some of them there's just really no information um, out there and available so updates and and things but it's it it it's a dark world like I I am really into true crime. I follow a lot of cases and stuff like that. And I've said this in a multitude of videos, but Hawaii is a much darker place than people think. Like it is like the dark paradise, you know, it's beautiful here for most of the time. Um, but people go missing and people die and things happen and then stuff just disappears. Like. So it's been really, really, really challenging for me to be able to get more information on these cases, which essentially means that some of these might only be a couple minutes long. And I've been told by a lot of people, oh, cover it and stuff like that. Um, but I also, when I talked about true crime, I wanted it to be informational and not bashing one person or another or anything like that because again I live on an island okay um, so I still have people come up to me and are like oh I seen that you covered the case on Ikai Kagampunia or Aiden Dungan um, people have brought it up to me and stuff before and while it's not an issue that strangers walk up to me or they ask me, you know, can you research this about my loved one? At the same time, there are a lot of people that don't have your best interest in heart. So, for example, um, I did the case on little Benny Boy Raposa and till this day, I still get people contact me and tell me, oh, you know... Um, I know where he's at or one person said that um, they they know where I can find him and stuff like that it, it's it's very draining to have to take on the emotion of other people but then you also have the people that are you can call them trolls you can call them liars you can call them whatever they want that truly don't have any information and they just want to take up your time um, I've had some people that reach out to me and have given me a lot of information and then other people you know they don't want to talk about it but then they provide a lot of things and I'm not just specifying just that one case there it's a lot there's a lot to go on and it truly it hurts my heart that there is no justice for these people but then at the same time it pulls so much of my emotion in different directions and it, it it's been challenging but my ultimate goal and how I feel about this is that I want to touch base on different crimes there's so many and the laundry list of and that's not even a good terminology to utilize it. So I'm apologizing if I had offended anybody. But the list of unsolved, missing, um, it, it absolutely extensive. Um, I couldn't even begin to, to, 
to even pinpoint how much and it's 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 a lot it's a lot to soak in it is a dark world so you know for i have my favorite true crime youtubers um some of them started off doing beauty videos some of them started off vlogging um and some just started off with true crime um i have my favorites and i my heart goes out to them because just trying to research stuff here in hawaii um is it, it's a lot it's a lot to take on and it amazes me day in and day out how much sadness and darkness these youtubers consume so if you're a follower of true crime and stuff like that and you're outside of hawaii and looking for things that are more than just hawaii um true crime like nationwide across the world um some of my favorites are tend to life um i think i've been watching any any elise for quite a while absolutely love her channel i can watch that every day i watch all of her lives um mike king um profiling evil i always love his take on that and he's really good with those kinds of things too um stephanie harlow i do really truly enjoy her um eleanor neal i'm there's a number of different ones and i will list them down below um even kendall ray i actually been watching kendall ray for years and years when she was doing beauty videos and you know i um she's on my list of youtubers that i scroll to and watch for informational purposes and also you know donations and things like that so th there's a lot going on so if you're looking at true crime people outside of the 808 state then you also have those options they they have covered a few that has to do with hawaii but you know my my thought process is that i'm going to work and work on and share hawaii cases missing persons true crime things like that um you know the smaller cases that we don't necessarily hear about missing persons stuff like that so um yeah so that's the information on that but um i do want to do a chit chatty vlog um car confessionals thirsty thursday although it's this video is not going up on thursday um a thirsty thursday type video just chit chatting i would like to be able to do that like once a week again and just kind of update to what's going on there's so 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 much happening in my everyday life um on top of the kids all in school and stuff like that um my etsy shop has been doing very well and I'm very thankful for that. Not just Etsy, my Etsy slash Shopify, because I have two um, different ones. That's been doing really well. Um, freebie downloads have been doing really awesome. So that's been really great. And I'm just thankful. I'm, I mean, you know, sometimes people don't realize that social media and YouTube, amongst other things, are a huge part of how creators like myself have an income that can be able to be available for their children or their household and be able to really work from home so i'm extremely thankful to all of you that has been there and doing that um there's just a lot of stuff happening and i'm excited for it so i want to go ahead and tell you guys that um thank you so much i hope you guys come back and hang out with me on more of these types of videos i hope that you guys can just kick it with me have a, a thirsty thursday coffee any of those kinds of things um i'm going to definitely put a suggested video somewhere over here for you to check out or there will be a suggested video for whatever type of videos you like as well as my most recent videos so definitely click on one of those if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and that like button if you like chit chatty videos and yeah um i'm more than just 
makeup and skincare and handbags than what people think. And my OG subscribers know that I just am a chill person that wants to chatty chat about all the things and this will really give me an opportunity. So I wanna thank you guys for joining me today and hanging out. Um, definitely comment down below if you have any true crime cases that you want me to cover if you're one of my 808 state people um, or just in general and yeah I hope you guys have an awesome most wonderful and blessed day and um, I'll see you in my next one guys bye